Hello everyone, in this video we will compare two best, user-friendly, and popular video editors. Filmora 13 vs CapCut PC This video will be different from rest of videos on YouTube. Whether you are social media enthusiast, YouTube video creator, or professional video editor, this video is for you. We will do head-to-head. -head. Comparison of both. We will see their features, user friendliness, user ratings, size of both, softwares, pricing, ease of use, which will help you decide which video editor best fits your needs. So, without wasting time let's get started. Let's start with interface, Filmora 13 and 12 has almost same, interface. When you open Filmora, you can see 6 to 8 new features, like instant mode, screen recorder, auto reframe, silence detection, and more. As we scroll down, there are previous projects. We can select the aspect ratio, there are a lot of options. We can simply click on new project to create new project and start editing our video. This is the interface, it's clean and user friendly, everyone can easily learn that without any previous experience. Hey, as we talk about CapCut PC, this is the starting screen. It's simple and clear with less features than Filmora 13. We can simply create project clicking on it. Interface of CapCut is more simple and clean. There is timeline, effects panel, import and video preview, screen. Size, size of CapCut PC is around 1 GB. We can see that in control panel, as size is not displayed. But after previous update, its size went to around 1 GB. Size of Filmora is also 1 gigabit. Ratings, Wonder Share. Filmora has ratings of 4.5 out of 5. On the other hand, CapCut has ratings of 4.3 out of 5 on Play Store. Features, Filmora 13 has a lot of AI features like auto reframe, silence detection, detection, speech to text, text to speech, auto synchronization, and many more AI features to make editing fast. CapCut also has AI features but with less customization. Let's see both softwares in head-to-head -head comparison of their in-build features like stock media, audio, text features and effects etc. On the left side there is Filmora 13 and on the right side of the screen there is CapCut PC. Let's see their stock media library. Audio Library AS you can see that that Filmora takes more time to load than CapCut PC. Filmora 13 also has feature that allows you to make your own custom AI song. Both CapCut and Filmora has vast library free and non-copyright music which you can download and easily use them in your videos. As we talk about text, both are strong competitors of each other's. Both offers a lot of pre-built and customizable templates, which can be easily animated as we need. Let me show you some text animation quickly. You can change the text format, size, and do anything with the text. As I am doing text animation let's talk about main and most important thing pricing. Filmora 13 comes with Monthly and yearly subscription, it's not free, you can use free version with limited features and watermark. On the edited video, in order to unlock full version you have to buy its plans starting from $20 per month. On the other hand CapCut has advantage, and takes the lead on Filmora 13, that it is free to use video editor, with some templates that are not free, and rest of the software is completely free. So if you can. Compromise on pricing you can go with Filmora 13 and its best option, otherwise CapCut is not bad either. With all the features it offers. After that you have created and edited your video, you can easily export the video. By clicking on top right corner, as you can see that Filmora 13 provides a lot more export options than CapCut PC. I hope this video will be helpful. Conclusion, as we talk about Filmora 13 it gives user more features and 
professional environment as compared to CapCut PC. You can go with CapCut if you want to create videos for fun and for social media platforms, and if you have concerns related to pricing. Otherwise Filmora is best. Option if you don't have issue related to pricing, as it now provides most advanced features compared to professional video editing softwares like Adobe Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. I hope this video will be helpful. If you have any questions let me know in comments section. Let me know which editing software do you prefer. Like, share and subscribe to Jugar Expert for more informative and tech videos. Thanks for watching.